Hello and welcome to the Electrical Engineering Bootcamp, Knowledge in Minutes. In this video, I am going to go over a very general substation shutdown procedure. In normal circumstance, we seldomly de-energize the entire substation. For example, in routine maintenance, we will only de-energize the specific part where the crews need to do maintenance. The reason being is that the load served must need to remain in service. Due to the contingency policies that most utilities required, it would be very difficult to schedule a complete substation shutdown for maintenance. Now, in the case that it needs a complete shutdown of the substation, a well thought out procedure needs to be made. This procedure will definitely differ from company to company, but the general guidelines do apply. So the three general rules is that first, you need to have um, a very detailed switching process to transfer loads that are supplied by the targeted substation to feeders of other substations to ensure that you have service continuity. After that, then, you need to open the feeder breakers and isolation switches to which you want the targeted substation to shut down. Lastly, you should then open the high voltage breakers and then the disconnect switches. Doing so will de-energize the power transformers and bus bars. Now, after these three steps, this should effectively de-energize most equipment required. However, some of the things it needs to be kept on at all times. For example, station service transformers need to be kept energized at all times as it supports critical power for the facility such as battery chargers, protection and communication equipment as well as lights etc. These transformers will need to be fed from an alternate source such as the backup generators as it usually be supplied from the secondary bus. Of course, protection system as well as other critical equipment will be battery backed up. However, if the shutdown is in long duration, it is better to keep the station service online for the entirety of the shutdown. If you want to build a more comprehensive knowledge base uh, revolving around the um, substations, I recommend you to check out my course in Udemy called Substation Power Engineering Fundamentals. Now, this is a comprehensive video course where you can learn industry-specific knowledge about power substations that you would not have known unless you work with in the utility industry for a number of years. So if you're interested in joining this course, please check it out with the link in the video description for this from this video.